So it's about 48 hours since Spencer's birth and here he is finally back in our room. So he's been in special care nursery since his birth because his sugars did drop quite drastically after he was born and um, he did suffer some hypothermia too. But we're very grateful now he's back in our room. He's doing really well. We're just so happy and proud to have him. And yeah, he's just, I really genuinely feel like I've won the lottery. <laughs> Since his birth, though, I've had a bit of a rough trot. <laughs> so what I ended up having is a postpartum hemorrhage. So it was probably sometime in the afternoon, early evening, I um, started to lose a lot of blood, which was um, more than usual. The doctors became a bit worried about it. I was brought back to theatre probably about 9.30 um, on the Tuesday night after he was born. I was put under general anaesthetic. They put what's called a baccary balloon in my uterus. Um, so basically the problem was my uterus wasn't contracting enough. Uh, so you want the uterus obviously to contract and stop that bleeding. It wasn't contracting, so they've put, they put a balloon in to put pressure against the walls of the uterus, um, which then will hopefully stop that excess bleeding. So that got put in on Tuesday night. I got brought back to the ward. And then yesterday was a really uncomfortable day, I have to admit. The pressure from the balloon, it was sore. I ended up losing a lot of blood. So they did another blood test this morning. My HP level, my husband's behind the phone, so I'm going to ask him, what was my HP level? Or? HP level. HP level? 69. 69. So apparently, I'm not a medical person, but apparently that is a low level. So I lost about half my volume of blood. So that's why I'm really pale too. And yesterday I did feel like I was crashing, uh, particularly in the afternoon. I've just had a day of pain. I've got an um, IV line, well, I had an IV running, um, but it has to run again because I'm going to get a blood transfusion today again. I got given two units of blood on the Tuesday night. And um, so, yeah, yesterday, yesterday was a really rough day. I, I felt really sore. Um, I still have a catheter in. I had another tube in, which has finally been taken out, thankfully, um, draining blood away. So yesterday was probably the hardest day post-birth. Uh, this morning I was taken to birth suite to have the baccary balloon removed. And that, was, that, was, that didn't hurt at all actually. Having the balloon taken out was fine. However, after that there were some blood clots near my cervix and getting those removed really did um, feel very uncomfortable. It was done with a speculum and there was sort of some scraping out and that felt really sore and sensitive. So... <laughs> I've got to admit, I just sort of reached that pain threshold where it's like, I, I just don't want any more needles, please. Like my body feels like it's been through a lot. But it's like when I look at what we have here though, honestly, it's just an absolute miracle. He is a miracle and we're so happy to have him. And yeah, he's just amazing. So I'm getting another blood transfusion this morning. I'm still fasting. When they took out the baccary balloon, I was asked to fast this morning just in case there's more bleeding and I have to be taken back to theatre. But it doesn't look like that's happening, so I'll be able to have some hot, hot food very soon. Getting another blood transfusion. He's now in our room, so I think it's just on the up and up from here. <laughs>